Big and ferocious, the grizzly bear is one of the most revered and feared animals in the Canadian wild. But as numbers are dropping in many regions, including Alberta, conservationists there say the province isn't doing enough to protect the bears, but the province disagrees. The CBC's Tara Fedden has more. They are a symbol of Canada's wilderness, but their numbers are dwindling. It's estimated less than 700 grizzly bears live in Alberta. Many fear those numbers will drop. In Canada and in North America as a whole, grizzly ranges is contracting, and, and here in Alberta we're kind of on the front line of, of that. Groups like the Alberta Wilderness Association have been asking the provincial government to list the bears as a threatened species since 2002. They also want the government to do more to protect the animal's natural habitat. If they've been better managed for survival in Alberta, then we certainly would have a lot more than 700. Stephen Herrero, a researcher and world-renowned expert on grizzlies, says the leading cause of grizzly deaths in Alberta is the development of open roads through their habitat. So access makes a big difference in terms of opportunities for grizzly bears either to be poached, shot legally, get into trouble. Mel Knight, Minister of Sustainable Resource Development, says his government is considering designating grizzlies a threatened species but hasn't set a timeline. Meanwhile, he says the province isn't ignoring the problem. His ministry implemented a grizzly bear recovery plan in 2008 and spends 150000 annually on education programs to reduce conflicts between humans and bears. We see success with these programs and we're going to continue to operate these programs. But critics argue it's not enough, noting the province of Ontario spends $4.5 million on similar programs to deal with its much larger black bear population. One move Alberta is being applauded for, suspending the annual bear trophy hunt in 2006, something Ontario and B.C. have yet to do. As for the pressure of investing more provincial money into the protection of grizzly bears, well, Knight says he'd welcome any additional funds from conservation groups willing to contribute. Tara Fadun, CBC News, Calgary.